Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazztime.com. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves and the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. We would greatly appreciate it if you will buy a watch from jazztime.com once in a while. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 41. This is the model number 126301. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. All right, so jumping right into the dial. The dial, style, dial configuration I currently have in my hand here is the Sundust dial. This is a sort of sunburst style dial. You can see that uh, as the light, my light box hits the dial of the watch, you can see different contrasting of darker shadows versus more of a sort of, uh, you know, sunbursty feature where it's more highlighted in various areas. Besides that, um, this is the Sundust dial with index hour markers, so stick hour markers. The hour markers themselves are luminescent along with the uh, hour hand and minute hands as well. And I actually can show you the luminosity, uh, the luminosity of this watch. So for it to glow in the dark, it glows for, to, in the dark for up to eight hours. It uses a highly legible chroma light display with long lasting blue luminescence. So let me go ahead and show you, uh, show you how that looks so right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna charge it up for a split second here. And there we are. So look at that, very beautiful blue glow from the index, index hands, from the hour hand and the minute hand there. So I can even darken it a little bit more. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous uh, feature of the uh, chroma light display. So let me go ahead and hit that back on. All right, so <clears throat> besides that, we have for this specific dial, uh, it does come in the Sundust dial with index hour markers, but other dial variations are the chocolate dial and um, also the dark Roman dial with a, uh, I believe, believe it's called the Wimbledon style dial with the Roman numerals and uh, that are fashioned in sort of a green outline. And that's a Wimbledon style dial. Of course, luxurious options are available as well. If you wanna amp it up a little bit more, you can have diamond hour markers. Uh, fashioned in 18 karat uh, Everose gold, as Rolex calls it. That's their version of the rose gold. Uh, actually, for the Everose gold, as this is a two-tone watch, you can see from the uh, bracelet and the bezel and the crown itself there. Uh, is because Rolex adds a little a sort of a copper platinum mixture to their uh, to their gold, which gives it this sort of pinkish color this pinkish coloration. But they call it Everose gold because, uh, uh, as you know, evergreen trees they always say green. This will always stay true to its color. That's that rose gold color will stay uh, stay throughout its lifetime. Whereas other brands such as uh, you know, Panerai Audemars Piguet, uh, they have a rose gold that will fade over time where it has like a very beautiful reddish hue. Uh, it won't stay that way throughout its lifetime. So Rolex has the ever rose gold. Besides that, very very standard date just uh, structure. We have index hour markers, uh, Cyclops lens at the three o'clock position, uh, three o'clock position on top of that date window, so you can magnify and have easier viewing of that date. And, and we have the Rolex crown logo at the 12 o'clock posi position there. Also made out of that 18 karat Everose gold. Moving on to the bezel now. The bezel is very simple, uh, just a smooth bezel. You can kind of see very smooth bezel, nicely high polished. Should bring a little more shine to the face of the watch in conjunction with that Sundust dial. Um, the bezel itself is just that uh, 18 karat Everose gold. There is also a fluted version available, and that's all under a different reference number. I believe that's a 126331 if you're uh, interested in that. But this, even the smooth bezel looks absolutely gorgeous as well, just being, uh, you can see, very highly reflective and also being of that beautiful Everose gold. Matching with that, as we move on, is the case. You can see the case slugs are nicely high polished to match with the high polish on the bezel. Help give the dial, the whole face of the watch, a nice framing of nice uh, shine from the high polishing. Uh, specifically for the case size, we're looking at a 40 millimeter case size. So from my index finger to my thumb here, that's 41 millimeters in diameter. As the name states, they just 41. And from the side profile, you can see um, nice thin case size along with the bezel being a thinner size as well. Uh, the previous model, the Datejust 2, which was the predecessor before this model, um, actually had a larger case size and a larger bezel as well, so it actually sat high off the wrist. But now they've sort of uh, proportioned it very nicely, very evenly, so we have this beautiful, uh, nice, a thin case with a thin bezel that will fit under suit cuffs, dress cuffs very nicely. And of course, the beautiful high polish that matches with the sides of the bracelets as well. 
Moving on to the crown now, the crown is located here with the Rolex crown logo at the three o'clock position. Two little dot indices underneath that crown logo to represent that this is a twin lock double waterproof in the system. We're gonna go ahead and unwind the uh, crown counterclockwise as shown. And in the standard positions where you can wind the watch, about 15 and 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started once more. Pulling the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the date instantaneously. As you can see, just by going clockwise, you can adjust the date very quickly. And then pulling the crown out to the final position will allow me to set the hands bi-directionally and set the time however I like. One thing to note is in the final position that the crown is in, the second hand will stop. So as you see, I press that crown back in once, uh, back in once more, and that started the second hand, and I can just stop it at the five o'clock position very simply, very easily. And that's for precise time settings such as to an atomic clock online. You can set it down to the exact seconds. Pressing the crown back in. Again, we'll start that watch. We'll start the watch once more, or rather the second time once more. And of course, always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case, as you want to keep this watch water resistant. Uh, specifically for this day just, day just, we're looking at 100 meters or 330 feet. Moving on to the bracelet now. The bracelet is a beautiful oyster style bracelet. Uh, also available on the Jubilee style bracelet as well. But for the 41s, the Jubilee style bracelet will have this sort of oyster clasp as well with the Jubilee instead of being a concealed 40 crown clasp. But we have the oyster in, my, in, oyster in hand right now. So we're just going to talk about the oyster bracelet. With nice satin finish on the outer of the three piece links from the two tone. And then the 18 karat ever rolls gold. Nicely high polished down the center of the bracelet. One thing to note is they're very evenly proportioned as well. You can see uh, larger links going backwards into smaller links to sort of match that proportion from the back to the uh, to the class while the front stays nice and in proportion with itself. So you don't have this sort of very thin strapping to the face of the watch. It looks nice and even all throughout from the face and then on the back uh, and then on the back nicely proportioned there. The class, as I mentioned, is, a, is just a simple foiling oyster class. We're just going to go ahead and open it up as so. And there we are, nicely high polished clasp blade with the Rolex name embossed on there. And we're gonna go ahead and close that up just to show you once more how that looks. So you can see nice curvature to match with the curvature on the bottom of your wrist. And once more, I'll go open that up. See how simple, very easy it is to open up and very easy to place on your wrist. So let's go ahead and close that up. Now moving on to the movement, the movement is in this uh, simple uh, oyster case backing with the sort of high polish bordering around the back with a satin finish on the very part and it sits on your wrist. The movement itself is an updated movement. It is a 32-35 movement now instead of a 31-35 movement that the previous predecessor used to have. The 32-35 movement is a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement with the precision of minus two plus two seconds a day as Rolex boasts about at the six o'clock position there with the superlative chronometer officially certified. Um, the, move, the functions of the movement is the center, hour, minute, and seconds hand and instantaneous changing of the date with rapid setting and also stopping in the seconds hand for precise time setting as I've shown you with the crown functions. The Oscillator is a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring, uh, which is uh, a hairspring that has additional resistance against magnetism. And we, and for the main purpose of the 3235 movement is that Rolex is trying to move away from more outhouse, uh, outhouse parts and more in-house made parts. So the 3135 had previous parts that, uh, you know, not native to Rolex. And now the 3235 uh, movement now has the high performance Paraflex shock absorbers, which is uh, the industry standard is the KIF shock absorbers, which were used in the 3135. Um, so now they have their own in-house shock absorbers, which they claim absorbs 50% more shocks than those KIF shock absorbers. But they've also changed the escapement as well. The escapement is a skeletonized escapement wheel made out of a nickel phosphorus, uh, which pairs nicely with the paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring and aiding in resistance against magnetism because of that nickel phosphorus. Uh, and you, of course, you don't want your watch to be magnetized as if your watch gets magnetized, um, then the movement will run erratically and run way too fast, uh, way too fast and just be all over the place. For the uh, skeletonization, it helps with the reduction of inertia, uh, allowing for more precise timekeeping, but also uh, updating the energy efficiency as well of this watch. From a previous 48 hours to now a 70 hour power reserve, you can put this watch down a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday afternoon and it'll be keeping time just fine. So now let's actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. We're gonna go ahead, open up that folding oyster as so. Slap that on and there we are. 
very easy, very simple. To, it's very simple to do. You can see very beautiful sun dust. That sun dust owl and the sunburst sort of style feature is just very beautiful. And the nice little accents from the 18 karat rose gold from the dial, and then on the bezel encasing it with a nice high polish just really brings a nice shine to the watch. That sort of fleshy tone from the rose gold matching very nicely, very nicely to my wrist there. A sand finish making that contrasting of the 18 karat rose gold pop a little bit more, like make it really stand out. Just absolutely gorgeous watch overall. So if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer a one year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.